illegal painting spreading subversive and hostile messaging over the last few weeks across London are not the work of several people as was originally believed, but the work of an individual. The criminal suspected to have links with the terrorist group against her must Authorities recommend not to approach the individual. First, they came for the foreigners, and I did not speak out because I was not a foreigner. Then they came for the protesters, and I did not speak out because I was not a protester. Then they came for the journalists, and I did not speak out because I was not a journalist. And then they came for street artists, but I did not speak out because I am not a street artist. left to speak for me. Welcome to the resistance. Here's a welcome gift for our new members. But the disappearance of the criminal. Megan, you could have told me it was a bloody costume party. Try it off. The new key suspect has been identified as David Ford, a 43-year-old London taxi driver. He has no criminal record, but is currently believed to be a terrorist. People have been asked not to approach him. The authorities advise all residents. I'm Clint Hawking. Clint has been a longtime creative force here at Ubisoft, and now he's bringing this vision to Watch Dogs Legion. Um, so yeah, what we just saw was an amazing short film by the director Alberto Mielgo that uh, was inspired by Watch Dogs Legion and looks at, at the game and the universe and the characters through his incredible uh, artistic vision and visual style. The city needs a resistance. Like the film, Watch Dogs Legion tells the story of ordinary heroes setting aside their differences in order to come together as a collective and to fight for a positive change. You can literally recruit and play anyone who you see in the open world. You profile people that are interesting to you, you help them with their problem, you play their origin mission. Just help me get some closure and I'll do whatever you want. Sounds like a dead sec problem. Leave it to us. And that's how you recruit them into your team. And then they become the heroes of the game and, and the stars of your story. And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Please, 
Think more underground. You with Albion? I'm tickled, but think more underground. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. And they make the story not only, you know, unique to them, but unique to you as the player and, and personal to you because they're, you know, heroes that you've chosen and invested in. What would I say to fans? I guess I'd say, you know, uh, take care of yourselves, stay safe. Welcome to the resistance. Ah, London town. A modern metropolis. Built on history and prosperity. Only took 12,000 years to build it up and one night to tear it all down. Oh my God. Listen up. Get all your units to move in and lock down the city. With London under attack by a mysterious terrorist, the government turns to a private military company called Albion to keep everyone safe. What could possibly go wrong? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nigel Cass, CEO of Albion. He's kindly stepped up to establish order. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize this. He will stop at nothing to permanently control the city. London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Nigel's not the only opportunist who's taken a liking to this fair city. Meet Mary Kelly, head of the most powerful crime syndicate in London. Be sure and spread the word. She and her goons are using the dark web to sell everything from party pills to people. This microchip is scary, I know, but I've got to keep tracks on my merchandise, don't I? You made me a slave. You do not want to ruffle her feathers. With the city out on its ass, it now falls on you to build a resistance and take back London. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. Any of the brave Londoners you see walking the streets can be recruited into your team. Like him. Her. Or even her. Everyone can become your next secret weapon. In our first mission, we need to get some dirt on Nigel Cass, and that means breaking into Albion headquarters inside the Tower of London. All the hardy souls you see here are people we have recruited from the streets of London. They all have unique abilities, and you're free to tackle this mission with whoever you like. Dear God, my eyes. Rightly. Zip up, get to work, and let's never talk about this again. Like everyone in DedSec, Arthur can hack pretty much whatever. But as a construction worker, he has a particular set of tools that make him handy. He can even call his own cargo drone. Perfect for gate crashing when you're not invited. And who needs a regular old gun when you have a bloody nail gun? Call me this soidoid shit boy. Jesus Christ, what is that thing? Perhaps we could approach this mission differently. If you'd rather keep your distance, we've got you covered. Amy is a drone expert. What have we here? A real tech connoisseur. Hate spiders, but love this one. What an adorable creepy crawler. Here we are. Let's class the place up. A drone expert does have the unique ability to summon their own drone. This little darling is fast and stealthy. She aims, she fires, she hits. I'm reading incoming drones. She can also hack enemy drones, turning the tide in her favor. And if you are not into direct confrontation, there are more ways than one to get the job done. Recruiting an Albion officer like Brielle here might be challenging. 
but it'll get you inside restricted Albion areas. Don't mind me, just doing recon for a bunch of insurgents. However, do anything suspicious and she'll probably wind up with a bullet in the back of her head. You've been approved for entry. We're missing the human element here. I can get the defense minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Well, that seems to be enough evidence. Next up, we're crashing Mary Kelly's organ farming operation and putting a stop to it. That's good. The buyers expect high quality stuff. And we need a hard nut for this. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? Bags. Don't disturb me in my natural habitat. Say hello to Mickey. The man lives for his team. I put another air on my chest. And doesn't mind getting his hands dirty. <laughs> he does have a slight drinking problem, though. And he's passed out. Ah, well, we'll come back to him. You know what? Let's go with someone a bit more professional. <laughs> it's almost crass to call him a hitman. Some might even call him an artist. Here's the bastard responsible. Ah, <sighs> done and dusted. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? Not everyone in London is a legendary assassin or a super spy, but everyone can be a hero. So get out there, find the best recruits, and build your resistance. It's time to take back London. Plunging the player into a living, breathing city, teeming with unique locales and characters, has always been a central pillar of the Watch Dogs series. So what goes into building those worlds? Here's Amanda Mutt to tell us more. My name's Amanda Mutt. I'm a level artist on Watch Dogs Legion at Ubisoft Toronto. Being a level artist, I think, is the coolest job in video games because we do get the freedom to, to kind of like pick and choose what little details we want to depict. And we get ample opportunities to tell the stories that we want to tell in the spaces that we're assigned to. I have the capacity to hide things and, you know, like small little Easter eggs. In AC Unity, there was a boat somewhere in the world that was covered in cats. And then it happened again in Watch Dogs 2 and there may or may not be something in London that is a boat filled with cats in some capacity. So. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to go to E3 last year. Some of the people that I was showing our demo to were from London, so no matter where I dropped them in the city, they would go, oh my god, this feels like Camden, this, you know, this feels like Southwark, this feels like Westminster. When people are talking about some detail that I've put into the world and they're excited about it, like that feels so good as somebody who you know, builds these worlds with care. I love it. 